Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create postage stamp effect in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful postage stamp effect you will learn to create today looks like this. It's very interesting. You can replace this element with uh, the picture of your company's founder or you can put your company's logo here. You can put your product here as a showcase. There are so many different ways in which you can use this beautiful postage stamp effect. And it's a very simple effect to create and I'll show you how to create this effect from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu and from Basic Shapes I'm going to pick up the Oval tool and I'm going to hold the Shift button down as I draw a small circle. Then go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Then let us make multiple copies of uh, the circle here. I'm going to hold the Control button down as I move this to its new location. Then I'm going to select both of them, hold the control button down as I move to the new location. Once again, I'm going to select everything and I'm going to repeat the process. Now, this is one of the fastest ways in which you can make your uh, circles and this also allows you to have sufficient amount of space between each of these uh, circles. Now, just for good order, select everything, go to arrange, align and say distribute horizontally so there is equal space between these uh, circles and then go to arrange, align and say align top so that everything is aligned properly. Then you select everything, press Ctrl G to group. Now make four copies of this. I'm going to press Ctrl D, one, two, three. So I have uh, made three more copies. So we have one original and we have three copies. Now we are going to take one of the copies, go to arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees. And I'm going to place it uh, so that it aligns exactly with one of the circles that you see here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other one as well. Arrange, rotate and say rotate right 90 degrees and place this so that it aligns with the top left corner, the circle of the top left corner. Then let us take this one, maybe bring it to front if that helps. And then let us move this so that you align this with one of the circles down here. And this is going to be the size of the, sh the stamp that we are going to create. Now that we have got the basic structure ready, we are going to select everything and I'm going to right click and go to group and say ungroup. Now every single circle is now isolated. I just need to click and drag across the unwanted circles and we just need to delete them so that it is uh, the shape is far cleaner. Now the next step is to go to Auto Shapes menu, go to the rectangles tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it joins the center of the corner circles. As you can see here, we have ensured that the size is such that the middle point, the center point of the circle corresponds with the corner of this uh, rectangle. So that is the basic idea. And once we have got this done, we have one of two options. We can have everything merged together or you can select everything and then go to format go to merge shapes and say fragment and you pick up the centerpiece and this is the shape that you want for your stamp. We can safely delete everything else. Now you can always make a rectangle in the middle. So let us go to auto shapes menu, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a proper rectangle. And once it is done, uh, you can give it a different color, maybe something like this one, a slight gray color and remove the outline. You can select both the shapes, go to Home tab, Arrange, Align and say Align Center, Arrange, Align and say Align Middle. So now the stamp is ready. You can change the color of the outer uh, shape to anything you want, maybe something like this or uh, a lighter gray color to suit your requirement. Then you can place some elements in the middle. For example, I would like to place the price of this one. So. Uh, this is a 50 unit one. So maybe I can increase the size of this and I would prefer to use some interesting fonts. Like in this case, I would like to use uh, something called Antonio font, which is the kind of font that you would see normally in stamps. Now that looks beautiful and I'm going to place it here and I can write some text here. Maybe I can make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then I can write my text T E X T and then I can make it slightly smaller and I can place it here. Whatever that can be, it, it is up to you. 
and then let us uh, pick up one of these pictures here i got this from a public domain site you can take any vector picture copy and then you go back to the earlier one and uh, resize it and place it here and of course you can always remove the background by going to format color and go all the way down to set transparent color and click on this and now we have uh, this merging beautifully with the background and if you want you can always have another text element here to explain something here it can be the picture of your uh, company's founder or it can be the picture of your product etc and you can write your explanation here so that is how we create the beautiful postage stamp effect in powerpoint 2013 i hope that was interesting and by the way if you are someone who is interested in these kind of simple effects then i think you would really love our prezo training youtube channel this is the channel here as you can see there are quite a few interesting videos which teach you very different techniques that are not taught in presentation process and here again i am the one who's going to teach e each of these effects and i post daily videos in prezo training channel as well and uh, this is the way the video channel looks you can go to home and the way the channel looks is like this you can check out it is prezo training you can go and find out you might actually find some very interesting videos there so that was about this video on postage stamp effect hey did you like the video if yes please click on the red subscribe button that you see down below the video to the left here you see having good slides to present is like wearing a good suit in the boardroom you automatically feel more confident and sound more convincing you know what you don't need to be a powerpoint ninja to create great looking slides like this you just need to know a few simple techniques to significantly improve the look and feel of your business slides in ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program i teach you those surprisingly simple yet creative powerpoint techniques that took me years to discover through painful trial and error method Once you know the techniques you will realize how easy it is to make great looking slides like this in the same time it takes to create mediocre looking slides like this so please click on the link in the description area below this video to see how ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program can change the way you create your business slides forever and to get a feel for how simple techniques can make a massive impact on your slides i invite you to join our free mini training The training is called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas Course. It is an email training that gives you easy ideas you can implement in your next business presentation. You can join the free mini training by clicking on the button here. So please click on the button here and I'll see you inside the course.